Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, which is usually several times per month, and whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I'm very excited to share with you the Winter Trove box, which comes in this very heavy box this time around. It is $129.99 per quarter, plus shipping I believe, but if you use the code and the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below, it's just Noelle, that will save you $10. Now they have sent this box to me for review and I am so grateful because they do such a fantastic job. This is the sort of passion project of two gals who have traveled the world together and they go to different destinations and find us the coolest items and experiences. So it is really travel in a box. We get beautiful items that kind of uh, are evocative of that culture, of that place. And there's always two experiences, one that's a more cultural experience. And again, these are all done by video. And then one that's always a cooking experience, which I just think is so awesome. And of course, in that way, you are supporting the travel industry and these people who normally get a lot more tourism, but obviously for the past couple of years, they have been very limited in terms of generating that revenue so I love that we're kind of keeping that spirit alive that wanderlust alive it definitely makes me excited to get back out in the world and traveling again and in the meantime feel like I'm still supporting some artists uh, still supporting some chefs still uh, exploring the world as best as I can so let's open it up it says feed your wanderlust while saving small businesses around the world 20% of all profits go directly to our featured chefs and artisans so let me just pull some of the paperwork off the top so you guys can can see what it looks like again it's pretty hefty because they do often include a lot of the kind of more hard to find ingredients that we need for our recipes that we make with the chef and then there's always nice recipe cards there are a few recipes that I have like made over and over again like in the last box that featured Mexico you guys I have been making handmade tortillas now for every time we need tortillas like I cannot go back to a uh, store-bought corn tortillas so this is very appropriate for the holidays here is a really pretty um postcard of our two gals um, Emily and Erica and they are in front of a bunch of barrels I'm wondering if that's wine it says guten tag and happy holidays we're overjoyed to bring the magic and joy of Rothenburg's famous Christmas village to your homes this year this beautiful medieval city oozes holiday spirit 365 days a year and we knew we had to find a way to bring some of that magic and mold wine to you we know the world for travel lovers like us continues to change and it was heartbreaking to see that Germany had to go back into full lockdown. We're so thankful for your support of us and the incredible chef, artisans, and makers that are featured in your holiday experience. Sending love to you and your families, Emily and Erica, the founders. I think that is so awesome. Now, some of you guys may know I am adopted, but my maternal grandfather is or grandmother, excuse me, is full German. My grandfather's Italian. And so I am kind of embarrassed, but I'm going to struggle with the German words. We need Katrina from Subbox Lover over here. So bear with me. I will do my best, but I will have to learn a little bit more German. They also included a very cute little card that just says warmest wishes. I just, I feel such an affinity to these gals because I feel like we've gone to a lot of the same places and I just, I just love what they do. So very, very cute moose with ear warmers says we hope you enjoy this special trip to winter wonderland in Rothenburg Germany it's filled with some of our favorite things tastes and experiences from the charming Christmas market and village happy holidays um <laughs> Merry Christmas it says that's so cute that's so cute and a happy new year I think that's adorable so they do there are whole trips where you can just go to all of the German Christmas markets because it is such a thing um I would love to do that one year so and then they always do this beautiful little booklet that tells us all about the items and the experiences. So I'm loving that. And then inside we do have our recipe cards. So this is what they look like. So you can see it on the front. The, sorry, you guys, I'm totally covering the picture. And then it has all of the details, the actual recipe on the back. So I need to put together like a Just Trove uh, recipe box. I have gotten a lot of recipe boxes actually. And I just right now have them all in a file folder. But I think that would be really cool to just have them all um, together. So looks like we're going to make oh boy you guys so brat apple which i know apple is apple like apple soft apple soft um so it's uh i don't know what that is it says it is german baked apples all right that looks delicious because i love like poached pears and baked apples that sounds really really good we are going to also make oh boy schufnudeln mit kraut und speck 
don't know what that is. That is a German potato dumpling recipe oh, with sauerkraut and bacon. Uh, that sounds delicious. I love dumplings in any culture, pretty much. Any culture has dumplings and they're all good. And Furzangbol. Oh boy. This is a uh, mulled wine with a twist. All right, so we'll have to read more about that as we get into it. So here is a beautiful picture again of the city and then it says welcome to Rothenburg. Rothenburg is a German town in northern Bavaria that looks like something out of a fairy tale and was one of Europe's best preserved medieval towns. You'll be charmed by the medieval houses and cobblestone streets of its old town. It's also here where you'll find the magical Christkindl Market. Christmas market, one of the oldest in Europe, starting in the 1400s. Starting in November, you can enjoy delicious sweet treats, Glowwein, Glowwein, uh, sausages, and other local specialties while shopping and taking in beautiful Christmas gifts and decorations. I got to go to a Christmas market in London once and it was all about the food, just like any fair, you guys. It's, it's all about the food. So here is our itinerary. So we have our cooking class where you create a delicious Christmas market inspired feast with Chef Anna. Ornament making, that's like our cultural experience. It says learn how to make a beautiful rustic star ornament with Rolf Dietz. That is such a German name. And snacks and gifts to fill your home and belly with gingerbread cookies, pretzels, and other goodies from Germany. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good, you guys. Um, no beer in here. That's, that's fair enough. Although they did do wine with one of their French boxes. So here, our cooking class is going to be with Chef Anna Olsen. She's the co of Adventure Bavaria, which offers day trips to the Bavarian Alps and cultural experiences such as Bavarian cooking courses and beer tastings. That sounds really good. There she is. She is lovely. So again, it says what's in your box. It contains special ingredients to use in your exclusive cooking class with Chef Anna. And we've included a list of fresh ingredients you'll need on hand at the end of the booklet. So that is super duper handy that they do that. They just do a shopping list where you can just uh, go ahead and check the boxes and go to the market. So you make sure you have everything. Now a lot of the times they do a live class which is really fun. I'm wondering because there is a QR code. It does say oh so save the date. So it looks like it's going to be on January 9th. So we're going to like get through the holidays when we all have a little bit more time but it sounds like a really delicious delicious treat. So they, they have included sauerkraut for us. Um, it says sausage is optional. There's a trove spice packet and then ooh, there's also Dusseldorf style German mustard. So and then they tell us more information about those items. So sauerkraut, glühwein spices, uh, Dusseldorf style German mustard, mica Wiener sausage, and ooh, there's a little uh, non-edible item in there. And then ugh, all of the other edible treats and delicious things, you guys. And then our cultural experience, it says with Rolf Dietz, for many in Germany, making straw stars is a family tradition during Christmas time. In the old times, even the simple star shapes were difficult to make by hand and took a long time to wrap with the string. Rolf is the inventor of a set of tools and instructions, luckily for us, translated into English, a yes, that allow everyone to be able to make beautiful straw stars easily. I have been wanting to make these. Like I have gotten a couple in different boxes. I've been seeing them all over Instagram in different crafting boxes. Um, I don't think mine will be that intricate or beautiful, but they're so lovely and they are perfect for the branches on your tree that can't hold really heavy ornaments. It says you'll learn how to take craft straws and split them and then you will begin threading them together using the placement rings invented by Rolf to make your ornaments. In the booklet provided you will learn how to make over a dozen stars. So you do have this German straw kit that we got and then you also need scissors and there's a QR code for this but look there's the kit. There's all the straws. There's all these tools so that you don't have to like try to get the straws to stay in place while you're tying them together with strings. Ooh, that's so cool. I'm guessing it's like a tutorial that's like pre-taped that we can do. Um, I'm so excited about that. Oh, and then they have other recipes in the back, you guys, like Seinfier, which is fire, which is German eggs and mustard sauce. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. All right, let's go ahead and go into the box now. I just like to give a quick overview and kind of have an idea of what I am looking for. So here is our Glowvine spices. So we have some like star anise, I think it says. We've included a spice packet that you'll use to make Glowvine traditional German mold wine. Your packet includes a cinnamon stick, whole cloves, and star anise. So there is that. Um, these look good. So these girls do the best snack picking out. They always amaze me. This is Herman the German imported German confections, assorted gingerbread, glazed spice cookies and like again they don't skimp we got a whole bag of these so it says we can't get enough of these german holiday cookies made with soft gingerbread like cake they are glazed in icing and melt in your mouth some variations may apply um i am all about that i went to the 
Grand Californian at Disneyland to get me some gingerbread and they were all sold out. So I, this is even more like authentic. More from Herman the German. Chocolate rings with sprinkles. Oh my gosh, look, we got that entire package and they're like individual, like little wafer cookies with sprinkles on them. So it says non pare uh, chocolate rings. These are fun and festive dark chocolate treats covered with tiny decorative sugar sprinkles or non pareils from Germany. Perfect for the holiday season. Oh my gosh, these look so good. They're kind of like, they're reminding me of the dark chocolate stars that you get at, at Trader Joe's, which um, thank you again to one of my subscribers who sent me a Trader Joe's gift card so that I can uh, stop up on all of the holiday treats. This is Rothenberger Bon Bon Manu Faktor. Um, so candy manufacturer, I guess. Uh, so Rothenberg Candy Factory Bon Bons. These adorable hard candies are made by hand in Rothenberg. We love the little shapes in each and have included three delicious flavors, apple, rhubarb, and strawberry, but they're like that cut candy, almost like um, glass cane, where they have like little designs in the middle. Those are so cute and like nice little like quick treats. So if you just need like that little sugar pick me up. All right, ooh, this is exciting. So we have something wrapped up with the Trove sticker. I think this might be an ornament. So I actually really appreciate that even though there is some like festive stuff in here that they're not doing the class until after the holidays because it would be really hard to be there on time um, to make time because everybody's schedules are so crazy. We got this beautiful handmade ornament, you guys. So it says the same artist who worked on the wooden spoons. Oh, spoiler. And the owner of Wood Art in Rothenburg also designed and made these very delicate ornaments. Loretta designed this special ornament for our trove travelers. That is so pretty and the light's going to shine through it so nicely. All right, so since I already told you about it, let's look at our, oh, look at this wooden spoon. It's got a snowman and it actually like um, is cut out of there. So, um, and what does it say? Oh, it's actually burned in there. It says Trove. So that's kind of a cool little collab item. Let me find this. This was with our uh, recipe items. Hand carved wooden spoon. Loretta Mandosi is the artist and owner of Wood Art, a local shop in, Roth shop in Rothenburg. Loretta hand carved and personalized each of these elegant wooden spoons. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do. So there were variations. I'm seeing a gingerbread man. I'm seeing a snowflake, a tree, and maybe um, stars. I'm not sure what that other one is, but there were five different variations. I got this cute little snowman. He's adorable. I think they're all holiday. So like this is definitely your special holiday spoon, but how cute. And I always like the like kind of cooking utensils and items that we get. Like we've gotten a cutting board. We've gotten like gorgeous glasses from them. So you always get like something that is a little longer lasting than the ingredients. This is the, oh yes, I was hoping and hoping and also being like, I don't know how they would accomplish this, but we got a German pretzel mix, you guys. Uh, nothing like a good German pretzel and some beer. Um, so let me see if I can find this. We had to find a way to bring an authentic barbarian pretzel to you and this pairs perfectly with the mustard included in your box. Well, we'd be strolling the Christmas market with one of these and mulled wine. So that is super cool. So it even teaches you how to twist the pretzel on the back. Um, I'm a little scared you do need just says vegetable oil um water that i guess that's it so it does have the yeast in there cool this might be something that i can actually do i i'm hoping they probably won't be that pretty so don't be looking for the photos anytime soon but maybe once we do like i said get through the holidays maybe i will give it give it a try so that's kind of a do it on your own you don't need uh, the help of chef anna Something came all wrapped up, so it must be something. This is heavy, whatever it is. This is definitely something that was giving some weight to the box. Ooh, this is our pork frankfurters packed in brine. So these are our sausages. They just kind of look like hot dogs to me. But let me see. This is must be the optional part. Obviously, you don't have to put the uh, meat in your, your recipe. So this is, where are these? Mica Wiener Sausage. These authentic German Wieners are made from prime pork meat and vacuum sealed into glass jars with brine, keeping them fresh and delicious. You can add this to the potato noodles you'll be making with Chef Anna. Um, I will be adding that because I like a little protein in there. Then we also got our mild flavored sauerkraut, like where I live, it's people are really into making their sauerkraut, but I love that this is actually from cabbage from German farming. So it came in this um, like zip container. This pre-cooked and finely seasoned mild sauerkraut is made of pure cabbage from Germany. This iconic German side will be used in the main course you'll be making with Chef Anna. Let me know in the comments below if you like sauerkraut. I think it's so good. It complements so many things um, in terms of like, it just adds something to dishes. All right, something else. So let's 
go ahead and open this up. I don't know what this is. This is, oh, this is kind of cool. So it kind of looks like it's in a beer stein. It is our Dusseldorf style mustard, but it came in this little glass like beer stein. This Dusseldorf style mustard has a crisp, clean, and sharp taste and a vinegar aroma, a true German classic. Our favorite part is that it is packaged into a traditional reu reusable beer stein. So my husband will like that. We actually really love to just like make an easy dinner out of grilling sausages. And we have so many different kinds of mustard. Like I have some with horseradish. I have some with dill he likes a good plain old yellow mustard i like with mustard seed so i think we have like five or six mustards at a time and we get them all out when we make sausage and like a potato salad or sauerkraut or something and my husband is a huge beer lover i actually got him a beer uh 12 days of christmas uh box so he will be really excited to uh dive into that and he will probably also like see the pretzel mix and be like anytime now make them pretzels Ah, oh, this looks really good. We got another snack, you guys. So this is a festive cake. Oh my gosh, it's amaretto. Um, that looks delicious. It is heavy also. It says, we tasted through some delicious German soft cakes. I mean, that research is like, I don't feel bad for them having to go through all the snacks and pick things out for us. And you will receive one of the following, marzipan, amaretto, stolen, or marble. Um, I'm super excited about the amaretto. I might have to get some actual amaretto out to go with it. Fun shipping and supply issues. It sounds like these were bad. Um, it says, but these are all wonderful cakes from Germany. Awesome. So ugh, we got so many holiday treats you guys things to do classes to take let's just go over everything one more time so we are going to make three different recipes one is just some mulled wine but it says it's a twist and i don't know what the twist is oh you light a rum soaked sugar cube on fire so that sounds fun you probably won't see pictures of that either because uh me and fire don't go well together but again that's for bull I guess for maybe the fire part. Um, we also got a recipe for Schofnudlin mit Kraut und Speck, which again is the potato dumpling recipe with sauerkraut and bacon. Yes, indeed. And then for Bratapfel, which is the German baked apples, which will be sort of our dessert, although we got lots of other desserts in there. So I'm super into making all of that. To make those things, we got the sauerkraut to go along with our main course, the spices to make the spiced mulled wine. We got our Dusseldorf style German mustard, which super into that. You can use that. I don't think you need it in the recipes. The Wiener sausage, which you can add to the potato noodles if you want to. And our hand carved wooden spoon with, I got a little snowman on mine. Then in terms of snacks and gifts, we got the uh, little bonbons, which I misplaced already. The festive cake, which, oh, I am super excited about this. I don't think I will wait until the new year for that. Plus, that's when we start all of our resolutions, right? We got the giant package of uh, holiday cookies made with soft gingerbread. Oh, that's going to be really delicious. We got our German pretzel baking kit, which I will do my best to maybe do that and give it a try and maybe even show you the results over on Instagram. The non chocolate rings, which look good. Then for our cultural experience, we got our straw kit with tools to make it a little bit easier. And of course, we do have that video. And then we also finally got our handmade ornament, which I, of course, have already misplaced, but it had that beautiful um, snowflake cut out. I did put it like back into the tissue so that it was protected. This is so pretty. This is probably like my favorite thing in the box, um, as well as the straw stars that I've been like dying to do. So you guys let me know if you're familiar with any of those snacks or any of the recipes that I will do my best to attempt to uh, make my German grandmother proud. I will definitely do my best. I'm really excited about the mustard. I'm really excited about the cake and the gingerbread cookies. You guys let me know. I think this box is so much fun. I know that it's a little bit pricey, but it is really such an experience. You get so many fun things. It's a great date night. It's a great family night, and it's definitely something you should check out, especially to support people across the world, places that we would love to visit eventually, um, and to get your travel on while still being in the safety and the comfort of your own home. I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.